The building behind me is the Reichstag, which is basically the parliament of Germany. It's the center of power for the country. And speaking of power, I've come here to meet a woman who's using film and television to get her very important message across. Plus, we're going to hang out and she's going to show me exactly what Berlin is all about. Since it re-emerged from the aftermath of World War II and the Cold War, Berlin has established itself as one of Europe's brightest centers of culture. Mo, tell me a little bit about your history in film and television. My first movie I made because I got a murder threat by a neo-Nazi band. They were singing, this bullet is for you, Mo Asumang. So they mentioned my name in the song and I was really shocked and I was reacting on this by doing a movie. So I went out and uh, talked to neo-Nazis on the street, in a jail, and I learned a lot. For me, it was so interesting. I talked to my mother about racism that I've never done before. I talked to my father about racism. We, I went to Ghana together with him. And all these things, I think they encouraged me a lot. You worked on a film directed by Roman Polanski. I mean, that is a huge honor. Tell me about that film and your role as Condoleezza Rice. Yeah, Roman Polanski, he was shooting in Germany um, a movie called uh, The Ghost Writer. And I got the chance to be in that movie. I was very thrilled, I mean, t to work with Pierce Brosnan. Hello, who are you? I'm your ghost. Okay, so can you give us a little bit of Condoleezza Rice now? How you played the role? Oh, I said, Adam Langer stood by America's side in a war against terror, and I'm proud to stand by his side this afternoon. Adam, it's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> So Mo, I'm, I'm really excited about getting to spend the day with you and to learn more about you, so what, what's the plan? Yeah, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to show you Berlin. It's a beautiful city, it's a colorful city. I'm going to show the, you the place where I work, where I do the editing. We're going to go to the Guggenheim Museum where uh, there is an exhibition of a great, very, very great artist, Bangichi Mutu. Yeah, she's a black woman. She lives in New York and she has roots in Kenya. Yeah, I'm proud of that, that we have her here. And yeah, there's, it's a very special day. Today is the 1st of May. And there's a tradition that on the 1st of May, there are going to be riots on the street. So are you prepared? Uh, well, I don't have a flak jacket or a helmet, but I, I think I can handle it. I will help you then. There we go. <laughs> That's good. Overseeing the production of films and television programs is just part of what Mo does. And she's good at it. Her directional debut in 2007, the documentary Roots Germania, was nominated for the Adolf Grimmer Prize. And as an entertainer in 2006, she was awarded the Eagle by the African Youth Foundation in the category Best Black Media Entertainer. And more logistically, to put a documentary like this together, I mean, you said something like 80 minutes. I mean, what does that take from here in Germany to produce and direct a documentary that is being shot in South Africa? Roughly about three years, yeah. And in the documentary, you managed to interview two of the more prominent South Africans, Desmond Tutu and F.W. de Klerk. I mean, how did you set that up? How, was, how did you accomplish getting to sit down with these two gentlemen? Oh, that was hard. <laughs> Desmond Tutu, he's really working very hard. So then there's this black woman from Germany that he doesn't know, so I needed somebody in between. So that's, that really made, made it happen. Next, we're off to the German Guggenheim Museum in the heart of Berlin to see an exhibition from a Kenyan-born artist, Wangeshi Mutu, and I am really, really excited about this one. This exciting one-person exhibition is a unique body of work which examines themes such as colonization, gender roles, consumerism and ecology. So Mo, what is this whole exhibition? I mean, usually the artists will have a theme, so what is this exhibition about? Well, this is about Vangechi Mutu and um, she was inspired by a visit in Berlin and she saw all these images about West and, and, and East Berlin and the people and how they were dealing with that and that was, yeah, I think it got very emotional to her and she got impressed by this and made her art here. Ah, paradoxal idols, female figures that are both goddesses and adulteresses, erotic priestesses that push the cliché images of the erotic black woman to the extreme. I mean, it's beautiful to see all this expression and visual art and creativity all around you here at the Guggenheim. And Wangeshi Mutu's work is really, really inspiring in that respect. And I guess that's why Mo comes here, not just to chill out and relax and 
look at the art around her, but to get that expression and that inspiration for her own line of work. So does this happen every Saturday in Berlin? No, not at all. <laughs> this is only on Labor Day and the 1st of May and there's a street parade, a lot of colorful people. In this area, this is Kreuzberg, live a lot of Turkish people, migrants, and it's very vibey, very colorful, lots of cultures. And But the special thing about this is that you always have riots in the end. People are running, like burning cars. Riot or just like a mock-up kind of riot? No, it's really a riot with new Nazis and left-wing people and the police and everybody running. It's not a joke, really. But it's still it's fun. Just, uh, I wouldn't say <laughs> so, but everybody's waiting for it, you right, know? Right. You feel the, the vibration. Sure, sure. Actually, everybody was out demonstrating, showing how good they get on and to dance in the month of May. For a change, no street fights, but street festivals and block parties calling for peace and joy, replacing them. Best day of my life.